All right, a couple of housekeeping notes before we get into this one. I love doing these ranking videos. They're so much fun to do. And, hey, I mean, if you want to just grill me on my rankings, go right ahead. You guys know my policy with this stuff. I love it. Keep it respectful. Like, you don't need to have any personal attacks or anything, but go to town. I was reading the comments on the last one I did of these where I was ranking locker rooms, and some of the people in the comments were like really went to town on on grilling my rankings and i love that if your rankings are completely different than mine you don't like mine whatever i love it let me know really good next if you want to see more videos like this you gotta let me know if you want to see more rankings like this so what you got to do is you got to like the video you got to subscribe and you have to comment down below what ranking do you want to see next for me? Do you want to see me ranking um, every arena the outside? Do you want me to rank maybe the jerseys, reverse retros, uh, best home and away jerseys in the league, that type of stuff? Let me know what you want me to rank 32 to 1 next. I want to hear it. Also, keep in mind, I did try to find photos that were as updated as possible. However, I'm letting you guys know right now, there were a couple that slipped through the cracks that weren't 100% the most recent updated photo taken 10 seconds ago. Some of them are a tiny bit outdated, and I will be judging things like seat color, layout, scoreboard. So, I'm trying to find, for example, the scoreboard for each arena that's the most updated and the most modern, but there could be a couple where I'm talking about an old scoreboard. Please cut me some slack if I do that. I'm trying. I haven't been in every arena in the league, uh, but I've been to quite a few, and that's another thing is for a lot of these, I've been to these arenas, so I took the pictures myself. And of course, also because it's it's ranking the inside of arenas, obviously it's incredibly subjective. It's just my opinion. And it's not going to be like me scientifically dissecting or, you know, looking at the exact equation for each arena of why I like it better than the other one. For some of them, I might even just say I like the vibes of this one better than the other one. It's my personal ranking. I'm not going to give you an in-depth scientific dissection for each one. Some things, it's just going to be my opinion and maybe it's because I like the vibes or the color scheme that's just how she rolls okay and with that that's pretty much everything I had to say let's jump right into this one all right at 32 you know I had to do it it's mullet arena in Tempe Arizona where the coyotes are playing right now and let me just say that when the games are actually broadcasted here and everything I've seen and heard from buddies and people um, in the industry, it seems like this is a really cool place to watch a hockey game and the atmosphere is very fun and it's cool. But let's just be honest with ourselves. This is not up to NHL standards. And as cool of a broadcast as it can be, and oh, it's a fun little arena, it's a new, different, cool experience, it is not up to NHL standards. The scoreboard is way too small. You don't even need to hear me talk about the little amount of seats that are in this place. Yes, there are a few suites, but not enough at all. Uh, Matthew Kachuk on Spin Chicklets talked about how you can see the concourse from the ice. So, I mean, let's just be honest with ourselves. Like... Don't pee on me and tell me it's raining. Like, it, it's not an NHL standard arena. And for that reason, it's gotta be number 32. All right, up next, we've got the Honda Center, which is where the Anaheim Ducks play. And albeit, like, the scoreboard here is not bad. It's okay. The entire arena itself, it's like... I mean, it's up to NHL standards, like, it's fine, I guess, but there's just really nothing special about it. Nothing about this arena stands out in any way. It just looks extremely basic, extremely cookie-cutter, boring, and it's just another NHL arena. I mean, I'm sure if you haven't really been to an NHL hockey game, you walk into this place, it would be really cool. But if you've gone to multiple rinks, especially one of the higher end ones, and you come here, you're really not going to be blown away. And because of that, it has no really special quality about it. It's number 31 for me. All right, up next at number 30, we have UBS Arena, which is honestly one of the newest arenas in the entire league, home of the New York Islanders. And UBS here, I mean, 
for being one of the newest rinks in the league, I really expected so much more. This really just looks like a basic cookie cutter rink here. Nothing really special about it. Very bland. And uh, I mean, the scoreboard is nice. You can even see from a distance that it's a pretty modern, new looking type scoreboard. But other than that, this thing doesn't have very many bells and whistles at all. I know at the Barclays Center, uh, their temporary home where Islanders fans hated when uh, the Isles had to play there. And they even called for the team to go back to Nassau rather than go to Barclays. That place had like a car right on the outside. But UBS really has no special quality about it and uh, doesn't stand out in like any other way at all other than like the scoreboard, which is disappointing considering how new it is for the Islanders. All right, this is where I'm going to start to rattle a couple of people. Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. And the reason this one is so low for me is I hate the seat coloring, okay? And, I mean, the scoreboard does look pretty good, but for the Toronto Maple Leafs, such a storied, historic franchise, I feel like the arena should be way more glamorous than this. And especially, maybe it's just because I keep comparing to the Bell Center, which is not fair, but the Bell Center is just so electric and so iconic and looks awesome. And Scotiabank Arena really just doesn't and I understand that they've got to share the rink and turn it into a court because of the Toronto Raptors and there's the Toronto Rock and the NLL also playing there but still man for an original six franchise one of if not the most historic franchise in the league like this is unacceptable for a home rink here it just it looks ugly it does not look that great at all no excuses for it to look this ugly all right next up another original six franchise TD Garden, home of the Boston Bruins. And again, I wonder if they suffer a similar type of thing where they have to share the rink and turn into a court because of the Boston Celtics. Uh, but then I remember that so many other teams with nicer rinks have to do that. But in Boston, honestly, if they would have kept those iconic yellow seats that they used to have at TD Garden, this place would be much higher. And yes, they did semi-recently upgrade the scoreboard, which makes it a bit nicer. But these bland seats that just hit, have no special quality about them. Maybe it's because I was such a fan of those yellow seats. And to me, it was so synom synonymous and iconic uh, with the Boston Bruins. I found it so awesome. Uh, it, it just, I guess it just doesn't fit for me to have these like weird black seats that just have no special quality about them. And the entire rink just looks super bland. I guess I'm just disappointed because it's Boston. should be iconic and cool, but... I don't know. I'm disappointed in, t in what TD Garden looks like. Okay, next up, 27, we've got the New Jersey Devils Prudential Center. And similar deal, I won't spend too much time on this one. It's very serviceable. It looks fine as an arena. The scoreboard looks pretty nice, the new updated one. And almost every team is going to be doing that. But, I mean, they call it The Rock, right? And, uh... A, it kind of looks like a rock in terms of not looking like anything special. I know that's not why it's called The Rock, but it just doesn't really stand out in any way. It doesn't look special in any type of way, which honestly isn't terrible. Like, you don't need to have the fanciest, coolest new rink on the block. You just need to have an NHL rink, and that's exactly what the Devils have here. All right, up next we have FLA Live Arena, formerly known as BBNT Center, home of the Florida Panthers. And a similar type of deal, I mean, to me it looks a little weird, but still, I don't know what it is about it. This is one of those ones I say where I was going to talk about the vibes. The vibe just looks a little better than the other ones where I know that the fanfare, there would be like no fans in there, so the atmosphere wouldn't exactly be amazing, but the rink itself, the vibes make it look kind of cool like I just kind of like how it looks and I feel like it just looks like a cooler rink than the other ones previously mentioned simple as that up next to 25 we have the home of the Buffalo Sabres the Quebec Center and to me the reason why it's here and the reason I like it at this spot is the blue seats I always when I'm watching games in Buffalo I love those blue seats they look really good however the rink itself just looks old Right? It just looks like an old rink and reading up on it for this video, I was hearing a lot of people and fans who are calling for this place to get renovations or updates because it just looks and feels like an old rink. But I do really like the blue seats. I feel like it, it makes it a little bit more iconic and I know the Buffalo Sabres an iconic 
aren't uh, exactly looked at hugely in the same ten- sentence. I know there's people like RJ um, who've, who've changed that. The, the commentator, Mayday, Mayday, love him. He's definitely iconic. Um, but I just, I really like those blue seats. But other than that, the ring just looks kind of old and janky. And uh, I wish it would get updated as well. And it would probably go higher up, especially considering how nice the Buffalo Sabres locker room is. Um, I just, I can't believe that compared to the ring here. Okay, the next one we have is the PNC Arena where the Carolina Hurricanes play. And, hey, I'll just make it simple for you. The red seating here, the type of red they used, I think it just looks pretty clean. I like how it looks. I also like the scoreboard here. It's not the newest and greatest thing, but I like how it looks. Um, and again, just a nice little functional rink here. It's nothing too, too great and amazing and grandiose and innovation and, oh, wow, this is incredible. Uh, but it's also not terrible either. Like, it's not extremely janky and old and about to fall apart and looks awful. Um, but I just like how it looks. It looks like it would be a pretty solid in-game experience here and a cool little arena. All right, up next, we have the Canadian Tire Center, which is where the Ottawa Senators play. I love this scoreboard. I love that you can see the Canadian Tire logo on the bottom of it. And just as a rink, there's something about this one that I've always liked. And I know it's not the greatest, most special rink either. But again, very functional. I think it looks good as a rink. Um, and we'll talk about the outdoor side of the rink the outside in another video but uh this rink as a whole i just really like how it looks i like where the banners are i wish the seats were a little bit more creative um i know that that's something that gets changed often in the nhl so maybe the most recent iteration has different types of seats um but i really do like the three rows in this particular picture that are in the middle there um that are red I really do like that, but the other uh, seats there, I wish they went a bit more creative with it. I like when teams are not afraid to be a little freaky with which uh, seat colorings they pick, like when Boston used to have the yellow seats back in the day. I love that type of stuff. Okay, at number 22, we have the XL Energy Center where the Minnesota Wild play. Really cool Jumbotron here. I think it looks really cool, really crisp, a good size. I hate like tiny Jumbotrons in ranks. I like the big boys, the mammoth Jumbotrons. I mean, you're at a National Hockey League game. You're in the show here and you paid good money to watch this game. Like I want it to be a grand experience. Um, and I just like the whole layout. Again, I wish they were a bit more creative with the seat coloring and how it looks. It just all kind of looks pretty uniform, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but I just, I like the funky rings. And I really, that's that's the ones I vibe with the most here. Um, but all in all, just a cool rink. I like, um, well, they're not flags, but whatever the they're called at the top where you can see all 32 NHL teams logo. Uh, I really like that at the top there. They're like pennant type things. And uh, they're not the only team, of course, to do this in the league. But I, I always find it to be a really nice touch. And I like it when teams include that. Okay, next up we have Ball Arena where the Avs play. I loved when this place was called Pepsi Center. I don't know. I just always thought that was a really cool name for it. And hey, maybe this is just me, but... For me, the branding and the logo and the jersey colors and everything about the Colorado Avalanche just always seems so cool and slick and awesome. And the arena to me always just kind of seemed like a bit of a missed opportunity where I feel like they could always have done more. And maybe that's why they are where they are here for me because I'm expecting too much of them, but I just feel like the color scheme and the logo, I just, I feel like it's all so awesome for the Avs, and I feel like they could do more, but as a rink, it just looks modern, it looks up to date, it doesn't look futuristic and like ahead of the times or anything, but it just looks cool, it looks modern, it passes the test, and it just looks good. All right, and next up at PPG Paints Arena, where the Penguins play, same type of deal, I mean, Everything you could do with it's, as far as penguin imagery with like igloos and the cold and all this stuff, I feel like the penguins always could have done something way cooler. Uh, whether it's making the seats a funky color, I would have really liked it. Or whether it's incorporating igloos somewhere into the arena, I feel like would have been really cool. I mean, it just looks pretty standard. The scoreboard looks good. 
And uh, it, it just looks like a good arena, which I've been saying quite a bit. Like, it just looks like a basic NHL arena here, which I know a lot of you are going to be saying, well, do, oh, don't they all? They all just look like that. But I, I don't know. The vibes for this one are good, but I wish the Penguins would be out here taking more risks. All right, next one is the LA Kings, who it was Staples Center for so long. Now it's Crypto.com Arena, apparently. For these ones, I mean, again, maybe this is just a personal vibe, but I've been watching LA Kings games for a long, long time. And every time I watch a game at Staples Center slash Crypto.com Arena, it just always looks so dark and, like, misty for some reason. Like, mist or fog or something. And dark. Like, dark, like, black, silver, grayish, which... In large part, obviously, is because of what the jerseys look like for the team. But even when they were wearing, like, purple and stuff, the arena, it always just looks so, like, dark and, I don't know, almost emo, like, the way it looks. But I like it for some reason. I always like the games at Staples Center here. The Jumbotron, it looks good, but it doesn't really look like that when the Lakers are in there. That's why I'm always like, huh, it's it's, it's when the Kings are in there. And, of, of course, again, the jerseys are a huge part of this, but... I like the aesthetic inside of this arena, and I like how it looks because it's kind of conducive to that. Um, it, it just always feels so, like, kind of misty like that. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm out to, left, out to lunch on this one, but I really like it. All right, next up we have Emily Arena where the Tampa Bay Lightning play, and this is just a cool-looking arena. I really like the long and, <laughs> let's be real, kind of oddly shaped scoreboard here um, but it's really cool and I don't know if they still have it but I remember those lightning effects with the Tesla coil whenever the lightning score a goal and during their intro I always thought that was super cool um, and the seat color I think is awesome it's like a cool blue I know a lot of times they put towels and stuff on it and it, it comes off as a different color from far away but it's a really cool blue especially when you're walking the game it's just like I said a cool looking rink all right, next up we have Nationwide Arena where the Columbus Blue Jackets play. And yes, the scoreboard looks good. And yes, I like those uh, flag pennant things they have for all 32 teams in the NHL. But you must know why the Columbus Blue Jackets are at the spot that they're at here. Because, I mean, there's one really special thing that's iconic about Columbus, which is weird to say about a team that started playing the NHL in the year 2000 and plays in Ohio. But the cannon for the Columbus Blue Jackets is so loud and so iconic that that's what put it up here. That really ratchets up the in-game experience and makes it a lot cooler. And I love that they just have a legit cannon inside the arena that goes off at the beginning of the game. And when they score a goal, that's just really, really cool. And uh, that just ratchets it up to me for the in-game experience. And it's awesome that there's just one sitting in the arena. All right, up next we have Capital One Arena, home of obviously the Washington Capitals. Uh, this arena looks really cool. I love how it looks. Again, I wish they would have made it a bit cooler with the seats because I love that there's that siren that goes off when they score a goal. Um, so I wish the seats would have followed suit a bit. I know that because fans are wearing red in the arena, it makes the arena look pretty red, but I feel like having red seats would just make it pop and look so cool and fit so well with like the siren goal horn and stuff. But overall, just a really sleek, clean looking arena with a really modern, awesome jumbotron that's like layered, which is really cool. I love that. And next one is Enterprise Center, which is where the St. Louis Blues play. And, like, look at this picture. Like, do I need to say much? Like, look at it. It's just such a beautiful-looking arena. I love the look here. The blue and the purple just looks really nice. And the Jumbotron is super nice, too. A fine-looking arena. Really good. All right, up next we have my beloved Scotiabank Saddle Dome, home of the Calgary Flames. And, yes, some of these pictures were taken by me because I've probably been to, like... Ugh, what, 5,000 games at the Saddle Dome? Seriously, like, I've been to so many Calgary Flames games. I go to, like, 15 to 20 a year. Um, and I love this place. The fire that comes out before the game and when the team scores a goal is really nice. The theme of red is really cool. 
and maybe it's just me, like, I love the red theme with the entire arena. And yes, there's a lot of it that looks old. There were some reports a few months ago about it starting to fall apart and there's stuff, like, crumbling from the outside. So me and my dad joked that one day we're going to get hit by a cinder block falling from the roof of the Saddle Dome. But it just looks good. It looks old, yes, but there's some really cool bells and whistles in this rink. The scoreboard looks semi-modern for what you'd think from one of the oldest arenas in the league I do wish in a place called the Sea of Red, uh, I know that the fans dress in red, but I think some red seats would look kind of cool here. I really do, and maybe it's just me. I got weird taste in arenas, as you guys have probably seen, I'm sure, but I think some red seats would look good, but the fire that comes out, and you'll see what I mean when you go see a game. Like, yes, the seats are old, the concourse is terrible, the lines for the bathrooms are out of this world, terrible, but the actual experience, when you sit down and you watch the game and you look around you, it's pretty good. Right? So, that's my two cents on the Flames Arena. Up next is Rogers Arena, home of the Vancouver Canucks. Not to be confused with Rogers Place, home of the Edmonton Oilers, but the Vancouver Canucks Rogers Arena is sneaky good. I love some of the features in here. At the top where it's rounded, I love that there's pictures of the players and that's where they put their ring of honor. Uh, people like Alex Burrows, Pat Quinn, that type of stuff. It looks really good. I like how the rafters are in Rogers Arena, some of the stanchion lighting and stuff. Again, I mean, the seat colorings are just pretty bland, but uh, other than that, I really like it. The railings in the arenas are cool as far as where the seats are. It's just a really underrated place to watch a game. It's a really, really solid spot. I loved the games I caught in Vancouver. The next one is American Airlines Center where the Dallas Stars play, and I love the green motif here. Um, I'm not going to go all the way and say I would like green seats, although I kind of would, but I just like how there's green everywhere, not just from the people wearing the jerseys, but from the actual arena itself. I love that they have that star that's green and white that the players come out of, and just the whole motif of the arena just looks really good. The scoreboard is super nice, and as an arena, I just find it looks real solid and nice. Ooh, up next we've got an interesting one, Canada Life Center where the Jets play. Now, the seat capacity here is really, really low. Like, for Jets games, I just looked it up, 15,321, which is pretty low for an NHL team here, but it just looks and feels very homey, and it doesn't feel like small town, it doesn't feel like you're watching a CHL game or anything, but it, it, it feels still pretty grandiose in NHL, but it also feels cozy, you know, and on the, on the, the smaller scale size, but... Again, it walks that balance between being cozy, like, okay, I'm in my own little rink watching this game, but also big time, because again, like I've mentioned, you're in the show, you're in the National Hockey League, it's got to feel pretty big time, really nice scoreboard, really nice layout for the rink, everything looks cool and clean, love it. Alright, keeping up with motifs, ever since I was a kid, I've loved the SAP Center where the San Jose Sharks play. I love this place a ton. Every time I look at it on TV, it just looks really cool. It looks like a snazzy place to play. And I got the chance to go, and I found it to be a really cool little arena to watch a game in. And it just stood out, man. I don't know what it was about it, but the vibes of this place stood out and really set it above the pack. It's an underrated place to watch a game. The Jumbotron looks awesome. They've got the, the shark that uh, the players come out of. It's just a really cool looking arena. Of course, you knew that the United Center where the Chicago Blackhawks play was going to be in the upper echelon of this list. And when I went to go watch a game here, obviously it's iconic. And yes, some of it is traditional. And honestly, to an outsider who didn't know anything about this franchise, you look at the arena and it's nothing crazy special. But actually being in there and looking at more pictures, watching videos, watching games on TV or in person there, you can see just how special of a place it is. And it looks cool. There's a lot of little intricate things about this arena that's awesome. The Jumbotron, again, it's nothing extremely revolutionary here, but it's very functional and cool looking. But definitely not the coolest Jumbotron on this list by any means. But just a legendary arena. And it looks good. And sticking with the theme with iconic arenas, the most famous arena in the world, it's Madison Square Garden. And it's not just that it's the most famous, it looks really good and it looks legendary. Like, if you're in there, 
just look up and the roof, the size of the scoreboard, the fact that it says Madison Square Garden on it, how it looks, it just really, it looks like you're ascending to heaven when you're in Madison Square Garden with that cool looking roof and the shape of the entire arena, it feels like you're in a weird like oval and you feel like you're being transported to another dimension when you walk in and you see the arena in Madison Square Garden. Like, it feels extremely special, and it's really cool to look at even on TV. Uh, sometimes with the Rangers games, just on TV, it doesn't do it justice of how awesome an arena this actually is. And I know it's really, really old, but it's had a bunch of renovations, and trust me, uh, it feels awesome. All right, up next is an arena I've always wanted to go catch a game. It might honestly be number one on my bucket list rinks I haven't been to. Bridgestone Arena in Nashville is awesome from the looks of it. Like, it just looks like a really sweet arena. You guys know how I feel about those pennants uh, with all 32 teams up top there. I love it. The scoreboard looks awesome by all accounts. The fans and stuff make it great. But again, I understand this is ranking the arena, not the fans and stuff and the atmosphere. And the arena just looks really cool. They've got that saber tooth tiger there that uh, comes down that the players come out of. It's just an awesome little thing there. And the arena itself is super cool looking. Everything from the Bud Light fan zone as well. It just seems like such a sick place to catch a game. Next up is Rogers Place where also... I have caught a few games, and you'll see a few pictures from the games that I caught. This was just such an awesome place to catch a game, and as it should be, it's one of the newest arenas in the league, and Edmonton is such a hockey-crazed market who deserves just a palace like this to watch a hockey game, and man, is it ever. The Jumbotron is world-class. It's like worth drooling over the seats are awesome they're so comfortable they look even so cool and everything just looks so professional and i love that they added this little touch when i was younger and i was watching oilers games at rexall place they had that sign that says this is oil country and i know maybe it's just me nerding out a little bit but i love that they added that sign back at rogers saying this is oil country and where they put the banners and where everything is organized just looks so sleek. That's the word I would use to describe Rogers Place in Edmonton. Everything is just so sleek and modern and dare I even say futuristic. It looks really good. Up next, this one might surprise a few people coming out of nowhere. Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. And I love the orange motif here. Their rink just looks really good. Good. I just love how it looks. I don't want to spend too much time here. Yes, the Jumbotron isn't the most innovative thing in the world. And yes, they don't have a bunch of incredible bells and whistles. But, but it's just a really good looking arena. The vibes seem really cool. Seems like such a sweet place to watch a game. Simple as that. And then there were four. And of course, you know, I had to throw in the iconic Bell Center here. Probably my favorite, ah, well, no, second favorite place to have caught a hockey game ever. This was just so great. Not only are the seats red and iconic, and it's like an old-timey red that makes it feel just so timeless. And it, it makes you feel like you're transported back to, like, 1915, and you're watching, like, it, it's really, it, it feels like you're back to when the Montreal Canadiens first started playing it, it, like it's so iconic and historic and you just feel like you're in that but the jumbotron looks really good and it also feels modern so it feels like not old like something like buffalo for example where the arena just feels old and janky but this one it feels historic but also feels modern and clean and sleek and it's such an awesome place to watch a game and the seats are also very steep, okay, and on a really cool incline that makes you feel like you're in, like, an opera house or something. I don't know, just in a place that, again, you're transported somewhere different and new and fresh, and it's just awesome just by the look of it. The Bell Center, well done. Très bien fait là-bas au Centre Bell, c'est super. All right, and at number three, 
we have also one of the newest arenas built, which is not a surprise, right? I mean, the newer it is, the more likely it is to have all the coolest and newest bells and whistles and stuff. It's Climate Pledge Arena, home of the Seattle Kraken. And these really cool, weird-shaped displays as far as jumbotrons that are, like, spread out. I think it looks awesome. There's, like, this cool window where you could basically watch the game from outside. And the whole architecture of the arena, we'll get more into it when we talk about the outside part, but it just looks awesome, and it's breathtaking seeing it as a viewer. And I really want to catch a game here because it looks absolutely slick. And second to last, man, does Little Caesars Arena. I mean, if you're going to one-up Joe Louis Arena, which is so iconic for the Detroit Red Wings, you better do it real well. And man, Little Caesars Arena is an absolute marvel. Like, it is just an incredible place. And... All these pictures, like, look at this. This is just absolutely breathtaking. The box-shaped Jumbotron somehow looks incredible here. I love it. It's so nice. I love that it says the name of the arena on top of it. Look up, and you see those lights. I think that's supposed to be the American flag or whatever it is. Those LED lights up top on the roof looks so cool and the layout of the arena makes it look so big right and i understand the pictures also do that some justice but trust me i did my research i looked at a bunch of pictures and it just looks even with normal pictures like such a giant arena it feels like a gigantic coliseum which you always want again like i said you're in the show, you want to feel like, wow, I made it big time, and man, does this arena ever do that. All the bells and whistles, and it just looks so huge and so captivating, right? Like You feel like a tiny drop in a huge ocean, right? It's just awesome. I love it. Well done, Red Wings. And of course, finally, at number one, hey, I mean, I was expecting the T-Mobile Arena in Vegas to have a great experience, but actually being there watching a game blew me away. It was next level. Everything from the Welcome to the Fortress sign, all the pennants with your teams on it, this like inflatable ball that was going around, and there's like this cool ledge thing that I don't even know how to describe it in this arena. It just looks amazing the actual product is fantastic they've got of course on the ice all the graphics and like cool theatrical show um there's probably a lot of stuff i'm leaving out there's like the vegas skyline in picture form at one of the uh ends of the arena this place is just epic okay like i i just there's no other way to describe it. The Vegas Strong stuff that they've implemented into the arena as well. It all just feels amazing. I love everything about it. And it doesn't get any better than this to me as far as a product of when you walk into an arena just being absolutely gobsmacked at the type of product an NHL team can put on. Like, I remember telling my friends going to go in here and it was like you don't even feel like you're watching a hockey game anymore you don't even feel like you're at a hockey game like I've been to hundreds of hockey games in my life and I didn't feel like I didn't recognize it right I usually it's like you're in a different arena it takes a bit of time to adjust and then you're like okay I'm just at a hockey game here it's like all the other arenas it's a hockey game but this one it, it I felt like I was at the theater man I did not recognize it being a hockey game it was so awesome and no other product in the NHL has been able to replicate that. And a huge part of that is the look and feel and all the cool stuff they've implemented into the arena. Uh, Vegas just knocked it right out of the park. It's awesome. And that'll do it for my ranking today, guys. Again, let me know in the comments down below the next ranking I should do for a video. And if you're feeling like it, make sure you leave me your rankings in the comments down below. I would love to hear it. You want to see more stuff like this? I told you what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.